All right. So we're back here with Burn a Flick. I'm here with the wonderful M. Scholes. Hello. Hello. Darty. Hello. And Jonah. Uh, Hello. Murphy here. Zach. Uh, today, we're going to be doing uh, a podcast on the movie Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh -huh. Now, we were, originally <laughs> we were originally going to do it on the Nick Cage movie. Uh, massive talent, but due to scheduling conflicts, we decided to do this one, considering how big it was supposed to be. Um, so I guess we're going to start with uh, everyone's personal uh, views. Uh, I believe me, this movie was uh, your standard. You know, maybe not the best. I don't know if you guys would agree with me on this one. I, I think I tend to agree. <laughs> uh yeah overall it was a good movie uh very good i liked it <laughs> <laughs> okay estevez you got, you got anything else to share no <laughs> jesus christ um i think i think i have a lot to say about it but i think right off the rip walking out the theater i had a lot of negative feelings yeah, yeah. but yeah. but but no, well, yeah, Shoals knows because we we went we watched it together, and he, uh, I expressed my feelings very. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, uh, I have warmed up to the movie a bit. Yeah, um, I've definitely warmed up to it. There's still things about it that I don't uh, like vibe with. Yeah. Right, but uh, yeah, are you when you say vibe with? Are, yeah, I, we're gonna try to talk about this. How I feel, this is probably the first Marvel movie or MCU that's actually had gore or some some level too. Right? Uh I'm trying to think about it. I don't think any, uh, but oh, hold level. up but before uh, what, what what is what's Jonas take? I want I want to know his take. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would have to go with him. Like it, I mean, there's no other horror movie in the MCU. This, um right? It could be it could be classified as a horror flick. Yeah, some part. At least a second act. Yeah. First act was all over the place. It was mm -hmm. not the greatest. It, um, they had like a lot of things to set up, and it's almost like they jumped the gun on setting up the movie. And it was just like haywire from the get go. Which is weird. Like, I wonder when they, I wonder when they uh, wrapped up on filming to do the editing, because there's a lot of things that were. Just like the first Doctor Strange movie, there's a lot of missing parts to it that should have been there. You know what I realized after I watched this movie? I thought about the first Doctor Strange, and I was like, I don't even think I like the first one. I'm saying that's like, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't yeah. even remember what happened in the first. I just remember how it ended. Like, I don't like this movie. This, I think this movie is a lot more ambitious yeah. than the first one. Um, I could the story beats in this one are are a little bit easier to follow. This was also Sam Raimi's first actual MCU film. Technically, yeah. Spider-Man. Like, yeah, Spider-Man. Well, well, sorry. Technically. Well, technically, yes. But I'm talking. You know, you know what I'm talking. In the new, uh, yeah, formula they use, right? Yeah. But Sam Raimi put his own thing. I felt when you told me in text that this movie gives you more Spider-Man three than Spider-Man two vibes. I felt the same I, way. I, I I I understood what you're talking about. At first, I had no idea what the hell you meant by that. But I, I, I didn't think, I kind of thought it was more like Spider-Man 2, just because like there's some horror elements in Spider-Man 2 as well, like with the Doc Ock scene okay. and all that stuff. So I kind of, well, the, I really like the horror elements in it. I kind of yeah. thought it was a different take on a lot of stuff that the MCU do they, is doing. Do you think they want to open that mindset up since uh, Daredevil and uh, the Punisher are technically now canon MCU? I think they're trying to go down like a darker path with Doctor Strange. I think he has a lot of like more darker mm. themes about him. And I think the, the uh, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is a, uh, he's a very, I'd say darker actor. Complex. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing to say. Yeah, complex. Like, yeah. Like, like your it, standard, like, golden hero whatever yeah so i think that I, I think it's a better choice to go down that path with him 
but I don't know if it was like executed. True. I mean, great. with with everything going on, like you can't say a movie with that's bring in a million infinite universes and the universe itself throughout the galaxy. They say you can't expect everything to be, you know, all rainbows and butterflies. I don't think it's all rainbows and butterflies. No, it's I don't, not. I don't think the MCU is like that. And well, that's another what I'm thing, I don't think this movie is is as dark as you guys say it to be. I think this movie is campy. I think this movie is cheesy. It's very Raimi. There was very corny yes. corny lines. I- and like that that's what I meant when I said like this is more Spider-Man 3. Like I'm getting fucking Peter Parker Parker walking down the street dancing <laughs> in black with his shitty haircut. But I'm that's getting one those of the most vibes perfect scenes from and like that's the thing. History. That that's a very uh divisive scene among people who watch Spider-Man. Some people fucking love it mm. and other people think it's retarded. I'm in the camp of it's retarded. And like when I watch Doctor Strange, like I'm like this is stupid. The dialogue's stupid. Like the jokes are dumb and like yeah, I, don't, I I'm don't not like about it. it. I'm not about any of it. I I just I just couldn't give a shit about the movie until 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 Scarlet Witch started fucking killing people. Oh yeah. And then I'm like, "All right, this is more interesting." When I remember that scene when Rachel McAdams said, "Go back to hell." I'm like, "Ugh." I was like, "What the fuck was this? Why the her speak?" Leave, so, leave, leave this place now. So I kind of see what you're saying with like the edginess, with like the it's kind of cringy edge lord type shit, with like uh, his other selves being like, "Oh, I need to find this woman that I like in other realities, and I suck in every reality." <laughs> so I kind of think I can see why it's like kind of cringy, but. I just don't think it was. I mean, it's Sam Raimi. I he's famous for his like, you know, he made Evil Dead, which is campy. Yeah. And like, but people love that movie. And I think that's kind of why I like it is because it gave me like those vibes Bruce. of like, uh, Bruce Campbell was also in it. Yeah. So cameo. I wanted cameo. I watched uh, all the way to the end. Like you guys said, you never saw the the end credit, final credit scene. I read about it. Yeah. You I didn't miss anything it. really. Yeah. It it was just like you said, campy. Yeah, Bruce Campbell. But I, I love Bruce Campbell. I mean, he's just funny. You yeah, know. he's super likable. Bubba I agree. Hotep is one of my favorites, too. Um, So I think part of my initial knee-jerk negative reaction was, like, uh, how they decided to do Wanda. Because I saw WandaVision, and I thought, like, this movie just basically negates everything in WandaVision. Because, <clears throat> like, WandaVision is all about her like coming to terms with her grief and understanding that, you know, I need to let my grief go and move on as a person. But in this movie she doesn't. She holds on to it. I'm and like s- yeah. Like that I think that's so dumb. Season like, season finale of WandaVision. She got a hold of uh the Darkhold, that book mm-hmm. from uh Agatha Harkness. Yeah. And then um I think that's when she's like, you know what? I'm not gonna give up on finding my kids that don't exist and I'm- I mean, that's kind of like... That's such a turnaround, though. Yeah, Doctor Strange was kind of like WandaVision 2.0. Yeah. I'm surprised. I don't even know why. I wonder where they're building with this. Why didn't... I thought they were going to bring back uh, Vision. Yeah, like, why why was he not here? Why was he not here? He's kind of a big point in why she went crazy in the first place. Not only that, but she totally wrote him off. Didn't look for him. Just looked for her kids that didn't exist. You she could, didn't even go to a universe where he's there as no. the dad. You went crazy because you lost him. Yeah. And now you're worried about your children? I don't understand. I, I Is it too I expensive? Oh, they spent oh, the entire budget you know, you know what everything I, else? You know what I think? Vision? I think they just fucking fucked up the story. I think that's what it was um, with with that. So so that, that kind of plays into my, my, uh, my, I guess, fermented take after some time. I've thought about it. I still don't like the movie, but I can't deny that the Wanda aspects are incredibly well executed Yeah, in the movie. I don't like what she did, but I like how they portrayed it. Well, they, they, did, yeah. they did explain that she went this way because the Darkhold took over her more like, right, more so. She, she was just, you know, being taken over by the, by the negativity of the Darkhold book. Is what made her go evil, obviously. So you liked the fact that, because I thought your big reason was like you couldn't understand like why she was doing what she was doing, but you liked 
the not the reason she was doing stuff, but you liked how she was doing it? No, no. I don't like any story decisions they made with Wanda. All the story decisions they made with Wanda, I think, are stupid. And it negates all the character development that she went through in WandaVision. What I do like is the horror aspects of Wanda. Yeah. How she used her powers to fuck up the Illuminati. Um, just, like, how they shot her and how terrifying they made her. Um... <laughs> I, I don't think it's a horror movie. This movie's not a horror movie. It's yeah. a superhero movie. But there are horror elements. Yeah. I'll give it that. But to say it's a horror movie, I think that's going too far. True. I like, you know how she's talking about, this is me being reasonable. Her blowing up and destroying the entire of, what's the name of? Uh, the Illuminati. Not the Illuminati, but uh, uh, Doctor Strange's like, uh, temple. What are, they, what are they called again? I don't even remember. The Sanctuary. Oh, you I, know I'm uh, I didn't watch Seven Rings thing. Uh, no, it was a Ten Rings, but no, we like, I, <laughs> I, I don't even remember what that place is called. Well, uh, I'm talking about how the she fucking, said, yeah, this is me being reasonable. Me uh -huh. blowing up, destroying everything, killing almost everyone here is me being reasonable. Me being unreasonable is completely ripping your lives apart and the universe apart, already, which you can easily do. I, 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 that is a, I agree. That's I, just badassery. I agree. The line is very effective. The way she delivers it is very effective. But, like, the character's just stupid. Like, why is Wanda so dumb in this movie? I think I think this movie suffered from a lot of, uh, you know, interference from not only Marvel Studios, but probably Disney as well. With them making this whole um, multiverse, uni like, new universe-building bullshit that they're doing right now, um, especially with the uh, the delays from the pandemic. They had to do a lot of rewrites. So yes. I think this yeah. movie's definitely suffered from it. You can definitely tell. First act is, like I said, wonky as shit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Second act, I thought, was more put together. Wanda was fleshed out. It seemed like she was fleshed out a lot more, the second act. Like, For you sure. could tell, like, okay, yeah, Wanda's the villain. Like, it makes sense. First act, it's like, is Wanda really the villain? Like, what? Yeah, I know. I was thinking yeah. that same thing. Like, what? How are you just going to shoehorn... Like this girl in here, I thought, and expect me to be, af yeah, expect everyone to be afraid of her. Uh, uh, I guess I want to say, you know, we, I guess one big key item here is, you know, what's her name? Uh, America Chavez. Yep. Um, you know, she obviously has stupid you know, character, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. Like now, so you're you're able to open up portals to other dimensions, other universes. In a star pattern. I don't. I don't mind her. Her power. I. I. I don't like. I, I did think her name was badass though. Yeah. American Chavez is a fucking badass name. It's, it yeah. is. I wonder. Sure, I thought I'll, they were I'll going with. Uh, uh, what's her name? Miss Marvel. I thought they were going for something like that for a second. I thought it was oh. her. Oh. Is it making a show about it? No, that's Kamala Khan. Yeah, Kamala. It? Yeah. I. I know that. I know that now. I. Uh, I thought they were going something with that when I first saw her. Yeah, yeah. Because even in all the previews, never even saw her. They didn't even yep. mention her. It was complete. Uh, they're gonna. They're, I think that was their surprise or something, and it didn't. It didn't really do anything for me. I think the bigger surprise is Wanda being the villain because they they didn't really show that. I've seen one trailer, so I don't know what the other trailers show. The well, trailers she, did not show it at all. Yeah, she was so like she, she, just she, that, they were gonna work together. But that's she was the, always the vi villain in Wandavision. She was never actually. She, she, was, she was not. Was, she was not the villain in Wandavision. She was kind of an anta like a an antagonist. She's no. She's yeah. Agatha Harkness I, was. Yeah. But you're saying that the entirety, what she yes. did to that town, her, was not her intentions were were cloudy in the beginning. She enslaved like, did, an entire town. Yeah, she she did that for her own devices. Yeah, but you, WandaVision clearly doesn't paint her as a villain. Not until it doesn't paint her as a villain in partial things. I, I'm not saying okay. I think she, she is she is in grief and and like in her grief she made shitty awful decisions and they didn't but that doesn't turn in in a story when a character makes shitty awful decisions that doesn't classify them as a villain it bit it did build her up into being something negative i i agree it built but the end of wandavision she learns to let go she yeah. she yeah. lets her kids die like I, fade away 
Like she, like vision fades away. She she lets go of them. She learns how to let go, and then she how to, and then she just turns around and be like, you know, I know we had that lessons learned, but I'm a fucking canics that lessons learned, yeah, and I'm I, gonna I'm gonna go back. That's what that's what pisses me off about this movie. I don't think she learned. I want my fake children, not my real lover. Yeah, I don't. Like, I don't think she learned by the end of the season, though. No. Are you sure? I. I literally why think. Did, why did she? Why did she let them go then? She went, she, 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 I think she, she had like so much pressure to release that town, so she's like, okay, I got this. I got the dark hold now, and now I'm just gonna go fuck off in the mountains and, you know, do my research and then find American Chavez. How did that? That doesn't make sense. I mean, because again, I don't think poor, it makes poor, sense. Poor writing. If you want, if you want it, if you want to connect those dots and make it make sense to you, you could. No, I don't think it's like very like drawn out that way. I don't think it's good. Yeah, I, I don't think it's. If good, you want to, if you want to connect, I think those that's dots just how it is. That way you can, but I don't think it was thought out that way. I think they were just like a lessons learned thing. They did rewrites, and then they were like, "Oh, yeah, let's just make her the villain." There's a lot of issues that arose yeah. here. I have something that came up to mind while I was painting my cabinets today. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Chueto Edge of Four, right? Yeah. His character, he was definitely going to seem seemingly be a very big antagonist in the next movie that would have been, been with him, right? Right, and the and the end of Doctor Strange, the first one, in the, in the post credit scenes, yeah, he is taking somebody's ability to walk away, taking their power. He I don't is, even remember that, but okay, exactly. Yeah. Like he was supposed to be like the issue, the next big bad or whatever for for Doctor for, Strange, for Doctor Strange, right? Yeah. Ended up not really. Nothing. He did nothing. He yeah. there was a build up for him for the past since twenty seventeen when the movie came out. Yeah. Five years. I know like we talked about COVID and everything, rewrites. I don't think anybody was holding their breath for Chill Tell Edge for. Like I don't, well, nobody was holding their breath for Mordo. They I have no idea who you guys are talking about. Exactly. It's it's like one of those things where like the hero has a villain that's just like the hero. It's like a carbon copy. It's like, oh, good wizard, bad wizard, they fight. Yeah, but he good also, wizard wins. Doctor yeah. Strange, Men in Combat, also opens that thing. It's like, hey, this you're the guy who has spent his entire you know like years trying to trying to take me down because he's mad at me and jealous that I became yeah. the you know you know the Sorcerer Supreme. He's not even the Sorcerer Supreme though. But, but he wasn't. But still, like in his universe. But may, unless they're gonna wait for yeah. a third movie where he's in his universe now, maybe this what the the end credit scenes will open up to that. In the third movie. Who knows? Who can, we, can we talk about the actual Source of Supreme, Wong? Yeah. Because he got knocked out in this movie so many times. He's, he's so nerfed. He he's... was nerfed. And not only that, the decision to give, like, so when Wanda was placing herself in the other Wanda in the other universe to basically murk the whole Illuminati. Yeah. Um, That chick, I don't know who that chick is. Then, in, like, she destroyed the, the African Darkhold. one? Yeah. She she destroyed oh, the dark hold, and then oh. Wanda yeah Wanda got yeah. pissed off, and she threatened Wong like hey, what's uh what's another way for me to get this dark hold? It's yeah, and he just and she like threatens to uh, sacrifice these like five dudes just five dudes, <laughs> and Wong's like okay okay I'll tell you yeah him. right after like his entire <laughs> like, fucking sanctuary like all fucking died like for what is this movie doing Kermitage Kermitage that's what it called it just got in my head and I, I really want to talk about that that lady that sacrificed like I just thought that was so dumb yeah like, like she literally comes up and Wong's in in like magical chains and Wong's like yo free me and she's like but he said nah. free me because. I need to destroy that. She's like, no, I'm gonna destroy it. She should have definitely just, I just freed that him. Was so dumb. You know what? Like, you know what and was then did it. You know what was really annoying that this in particular is not a bad thing. All right, it's not inherently bad, and I don't mind it. Mm-hmm. But because of the of the world climate today, or especially in this country, America Chavez had two moms. They really wanted to. I hated that. They. I. Cool. I get it. That's that's fine. And everything. But like now, you just bring this up to shove it into people's faces that hey, we're Disney, uh, we're okay with with uh, you know same sex things. But like, like if she's like, I don't have that. I'm not trying to be political about this, but I feel as though that's yeah. like a big like a thing they put in there just like hey, here you go. But I also, mean, I, don't, I don't have problems with it. I I, I, I no, I don't I, either. I, I didn't I, think I, about it. I agree. It's all. it's on the nose. Yeah. But like everything in this movie's on the nose. Everything in this fucking movie's on the nose. Even well, though, her char- her character is actually LGBT plus. Sure, but yeah, there's there's no 
No, I'm not saying I'm not saying that's a uh, yeah. like a, a bad thing. I'm I, saying that I that's think, something they're I just throwing in there I, just to appease people. Well, I th- no, they're definitely losing money over it because like that that'll prevent this movie from being shown in China and stuff. Well, so so yeah. like I Disney choosing to do that, choosing to leave that in there. Sure, good for them. Uh, it I do agree that the way they did it is very preachy. It it seems like the movie is preaching to you at that point. Mm-hmm. In, in that moment. And like it's not letting you think for yourself. They don't like play it at I I get what you're saying, but I I am also I mean, I'm telling you yeah. there's not an actual issue there. It's just like it could have done without. The think- issue is that there's two women together. That's the real <laughs> issue. Oh man, make me seem like I'm some right wing piece of shit who hates fucking same sex. That's what I'm saying. I feel as though it's. I think it, was, it so, wasn't necessary. I think it could have been written better, it and it was. Better. It was poor. That it was part of that like jank first act where they like, oh hey, here's a yeah. flashback. I do like how they put it in like, oh, it's a different reality because this would never happen in real life. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, China. This is a different a different universe, so it actually happened in our in ours. So you're fine. Obviously, like we want to, we we want our movies to reflect reality, right? And re- in reality, there are same-sex parents out there, so it shouldn't be a big deal. No, but at the same time, we want our movies to be well made. We want our movies to be intelligently written. We we want our movies to not fucking be phoned in. Yeah, yeah. less diversity. And that that's not what I'm saying. But <laughs> how come it, every every character in the fucking uh? Yeah, the sanctuary thing. How come like everyone that had a talking part was a different like color? <laughs> I know that sounds like fucked up, and I now I sound like a right wing piece of shit. But like, why can't why can't there just be like why can't like, like it's in be... that part of the world, right? So yeah. they're, they're Nepal, like in right? Nepal. Why don't they just well, have a no, bunch of because they're all they all people. aren't they all fucking sorcerers and shit From all, across, all, the, all across the world, all across the world, yeah, yeah, and they just know. teleport in to I don't fucking know. do their fucking training or something. I don't fucking know. True, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, they can all teleport. I saw so. two people teleport in. One was British and one was... Here's, here's the thing. A like, kind of Asian. These, these these Marvel movies, they're... they're That's part of the Disney formula. Yeah. Right? And unless they're specifically like aiming for a certain type of aesthetic, a certain type of culture, for example, Black Panther yeah. or Shang-Chi... Like unless they're doing that, like then, like they they have no incentive to not play the the diversity card. True, yeah. The diversity card it wins them social points. Right? Just, so so why wouldn't they play that card? They, they it 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 and it's it's not a bad thing because that's how society fucking progresses, right? Society progresses forward by having media reflect the ideals of society now, whether or not those ideals may reflect reality now that's that's a different story because realistically like there's over in the united states there's like 75 percent it's white right or, or some shit like that 70 like percent 66 or something like that I, i'm pretty sure it's more than that pretty sure it's more than that we can agree it's the majority majority white people in the united states right those damn white people but like if we watch a movie and like white people are like 20 percent like that doesn't reflect reality. However, it does re- reflect our ideals. We want a world where there is a, a we want a world of 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 mix mixing. We want a melting pot. That's that's our fucking ideals as Americans. Obviously, due to like population and like the real the like how immigration is, uh, there are more white people in this country. But that doesn't mean our movies need to be 75% white, right? Just because there are 75% people in this country that are white doesn't mean our movies have to reflect that exact reality. Yeah. Cuz what cuz it again, it comes back to like what we see on the TV screen is a reflection of our country's ideals. I agree, right? And what the average American wants to see on the TV. Ideally, the average American wants a melting pot. Uh, that's not always true because there are people out there who just really don't like non-white people. They exist. <laughs> Those people are out there and they exist. Yeah, and, Scholes. And, 
and they get and they get mad at seeing non-white people on the TV screen. They're like, get these non-white people out of my TV screen. I don't get mad at it. It's just there's such. I I know that you're tongue in cheek right now. I I well, know that. Well, yeah. here's it's, it's... here's a a thing that I've I've heard from uh, some. It was just planted there. That's the, that's the only reason why I was annoyed with it. it yes, was, it was just planted. There. It's planted. It's preaching. It is planted. It's forced. Yeah. It also it also gets, yeah. like, a lot of extra actors don't, you know, they're they're starting their career, but a lot of white people are, are trying to get their career started, but they're not able to get any parts because, all these other. That has been a thing. Actually, that has been. A th- I've I've heard about it. Like yeah. other other. But other races are okay. Taking a lot of the job, they're taking our jobs. They're stealing our Stop. children. <laughs> I, I I know it kind of sounds they're, like they're that. raping our women. <laughs> there's a mo- there, there's a documentary on HBO yeah. called Yellowface. If you haven't seen it, okay. Um, it's actually really good. It's about um how in early in early Hollywood in for the past hundred years, Hollywood has casted white people to play Asian parts. Yeah, and it's not fair, right? Because like, like hey, they had uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, fucking, uh, I'm forgetting his name right now. Who? Uh, what Godfather? What Godfather. Uh, Al Pacino. Mar- Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. My bad. Marlon yeah. Brando with he, the Native American. Native American. No, yeah. he played an he played a a Chinese guy, uh, were uh in the uh, American army, but he played a super like. Very racist. It races. You know? Super oh, racist. Wait, when was this? He had him a this? bumbling. It's in 19, 1950s. Oh, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. Well, it makes sense for the time, but really, yeah. really ridiculous. So this this documentary talked about how, you know, hey, white people have predominantly taken every single, uh, uh, every single freaking Asian role because yeah. no, because people want to see these movies. They didn't want to see Asian people having romances or being smart or doing anything like yeah. that. Yeah. It's gross. It's gross. So it'd be funnier and better they had Still these. Is disgusting. They had Judy Garland. Judy Garland's the mother of Liza Minnelli. She played a woman in blackface with like this super, super racist. Yeah. And, like you know, talk about this whole documentary talked about that. And I, I guess we've we've probably gone off the beaten trail here with this kind of stuff. But it's it's uh it's it's part of the that's that's how it goes. Yeah, but still, like I guess we're talking about how hey. Diversity, yeah. things are changing. Shows talk about, hey, now white people aren't getting their, these roles because yeah. the past hundred years, everything's been played by white Italian dudes. It's true. Yeah, it's super like true. Nick Cage, like Nick Cage. Love that guy. Is, he, is he Italian? He is Italian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coppola. Yeah. Coppola. Coppola. Yeah. Coppola. Coppola's, Coppola's Italian. All right. Yeah, he's Coppola. A... Coppola. Coppola. Yeah, but but he but. He only marries Asian women, so that's that's a plus. Oh, right? is that a fact? That is a fact. Not true. Oh. He did marry a white woman. I looked at it the other day. What lies? He no, is married a... to a Japanese woman right now. Yeah, he... she's also like oh. twenty four. Well, you what? know what? Nick Wasn't Cage, he with Nick Angelina Cage? Jolie for a little bit? Really? Was he? No, that was uh, Billy Bob Thornton. That was Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Was like, he was with her in a movie though, Gone yeah. in sixty seconds. Uh, technically. So, what do you guys think? Uh, what are you guys' takes on the Illuminati? Oh, uh, I'll let Jonas start, you know, unless you have something to say, don't. Um, uh, I thought they were, I thought they were dope, I guess. Okay. Um, I thought Black Bolt was pretty cool. Um, Sharon Carter, I feel like, was forced. It was. They wanted to bring in that what if thing. Who, I, who is that? Sharon Carter, Captain Britain. Captain Britain. Oh, Captain... is that like a famous actress or something? No, she, she was. She, she was. She is. She was Steve Rogers' love interest, Agent yeah. Carter. Agent Carter. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah I totally spaced on that. Um, <laughs> that this whole that whole scene, I from beginning to end, everything that happened there. I think Sharon Carter. I thought it was cool. They switched up the team a little bit. I thought that was cool. Um. Maria Rambeau, I thought was really dope. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, the wait, Captain Marvel. Wait, that's her, that. That was Monica Rambeau. Yeah, yeah that was, no, Maria. That was Maria, Maria. Her mom. So that's the her mom. mom. Okay, yeah, got it. So I thought that was pretty dope. Yeah. Um, John Krasinski. John Krasinski. Krasinski. Yeah. Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Reed Mr. Richards, Fantastic. the smartest man alive. <laughs> I, was... I liked his intro. In this, I, yeah. I liked the intro. Yeah. I like. So they brought this in 
and and you know, and uh, they brought in Patrick Stewart as you yep, know, yep, yep. Professor X. Is this their way of now? They're gonna. This is their way of implementing Fantastic Four, Fox stuff, and the X Men into the MCU. I really. I, I don't know. They, or is this uh, an alternate know. universe thing? That's all, and all, only that. I don't know. I mean, they implemented all the fucking Spider Mans into the Spider Man thing. Those right. are both Fox. Oh. Sony. 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 Oh shit. Sorry. Uh, fun. F- I love this now. I'm really glad this a- answered the question of whether or not that Doctor Strange remembers Spider Man. Oh Therefore, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping him canon part of the MCU, opening up doors for him to stay in, which I really thought. Do the you ending- think that was a mistake? Do you think Sam Raimi just like didn't watch No Way Home? And do you, like do you, do you think that like? <laughs> Well, I do think. You, do you think he just fucked I it think, up? Like, <laughs> I think everyone knows Spider Man. They just don't know. Oh, it's who, Peter Parker. Who it's who? No, it I don't is. think anyone knows it's Peter Parker Peter anymore. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Because he didn't. Yeah. He, the oh, was just everyone point. gets he, who he Peter, Peter Parker is. Oh, he was helping yeah. Spider Man, not Peter Parker. True. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But still, they mention him. He's still in it. Therefore, yeah. he will be there in the future. Yeah. No, there's no way they're gonna. They're, they, that's yeah. the biggest money pit in the world is Spider Man. I think. Honestly. Yeah. When it comes to movie uh, superhero, I, I am very confused to the to the future of Phase Four. So, like, there's so many. It's very ambiguous. Reed Reed Richards being revealed as John Krasinski. I don't know if that's who they're going to be going with, like going forward. Oh, I mean, he killed him. They did kill him, <laughs> but with uh, but with, is is he John Krasinski in every universe? Yeah, exactly. But like what uh, the Loki series, there were several different Lokis, and they all oh, most of them looked different and had different actors. So, uh, yeah, every universe yeah. that Doctor Strange went to, it was the same guy. Four yeah. of them, actually. Mm-hmm. John John Krasinski said he'd be interested in directing a movie for the MCU. So, okay. Yeah, no, I don't I, know how. He's like, good. He's he's not bad. I, agree. I don't know yeah. if as long as he stays with the formula, like I, not like Chloe, Chloe Zhao did. Well, I I I prefer the diversity in I, I how pref- film, I prefer the filmmakers. Diversity, yeah, yeah, because I mean, Sam Raimi had his take. You could you could definitely tell that was a Sam Raimi film. Yes, yes. Chloe Zhao, you could tell that was one of her films. But a lot of I think a lot of people stick More to the less. formula and they just all kind of mesh together. You can't really tell who the movie's made by. Even like the Russo brother movies, you know, you know they're Russo brother movies because I think they have a a, a more um, they have a formula. I I well, think the Russo brothers they have a more I guess uh, iconic. Maybe not iconic. You can tell. You can more tell that it's Russo. I think they're. I think they're more Sweden. dialed. I think. Yeah. I think they're more dialed in. Yeah. I think they just. They're I better at everyone, writing. Everyone. Everyone bases it their takes off of them. You guys saw the similarities between everything everywhere and this one, right? I saw the saw similarities, did, and right? I saw how this movie fell short compared Compare. to how well everything everywhere all at once nailed it. Just again, I want to say it was yeah. one of the greatest movies of all time. I haven't, haven't yes. seen it yet. You're Good. you're fucking up you're fucking at a high, high rate it, of speed. It's still high theaters? rate of speed. Is it still in the theaters? It's very I don't know. Hard. Maybe it's very I, hard to I find. think you. I can. I think you can still watch it. You, you can watch it at Mystic. I think probably. Yeah, it is a very. I heard it was good. Well, listen to our last podcast. Unless if you want to be spoiled, but no, don't was, don't don't do that to yourself. It was beautiful. It's gonna make you cry. Anyway, well, uh, you know, hype is a thing, and and hype. Has can have negative. This lives up to it. Just uh, here's the thing: it had no hype. The movie had no hype. No, sorry, I saw. I did see the trailer for it, and I thought it looked very confusing. And uh, don't be that guy. Don't be the guy who tells me it's kind of movies not their favorite because they can't understand it. No, that's not that's not me. Like I like Inception and Tenet, and that shit is like way over my head. My my thing is is I don't. I, I kind of don't like how, like, there's just a bunch of multiverse or shit going on right now. You know how, like, yeah. like you get tired of, like, superhero movies, and right now they're, like, every movie is just kind of, like, going down, like, the multiverse yeah. thing. Yeah. I just, yeah. I'm not a, a huge fan of it. You know, uh, you know what movie they did prior to Everything Everywhere? No. They did Swiss Army Man. I I do like that movie. Okay, yeah. It and it it's that it has that same energy. I like I like Daniel Radcliffe a lot. Yeah, it was very. <laughs> Paul, was just, Paul Dano weird. always just plays some weird beta. He does. Male. Yeah, he's really good at it. He is good at it. <laughs> Paul Dano, you saw that man? Yeah. Oh yeah, he. Uh, Paul no, Dano he's, was great. No, he's also a beta in that. He's he's an incel. He's an incel. He, he, literally an incel. That is what not what an did incel. you think? Okay, what That's, did you think he was? What is the definition? Did you, of think, incel? did you think he was an alpha male? <laughs> 
<laughs> hiding in a room and <laughs> but the, the on definition of incel is a man who involuntary hates celibate. Women. No, involuntary celibate. Involuntary right. literally celibate. Stay because they it. hate women. No, because well, no. no one will fuck them. No, it, I'm weird. sure if they got pussy, they wouldn't be incels. Exactly, you can't so be an incel because... if you are getting pussy. Yes, <laughs> that's a fact. Yes, <laughs> it's a requirement. So wait, that's what incel stands for. Involuntary, involuntary celibacy. celibacy. Oh yeah. So wait, 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 <laughs> wait a second. How is he literally? He even he didn't say like I don't want to have sex with women. Listen, not, he's, he's an incel, he wants right? to have sex with women. He, <laughs> no. he just don't want to have sex. No, it with sounds him. like you know. It sounds like he wanted to have sex with Batman. That is also true. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's. Did you guys do the Batman podcast? We did. Yeah, yeah we that's did. Their, that was our that was first, first one. one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think I was still underway when it came out. Oh yeah, yeah, you were. Also, what? we did a lot. We did about eight, nine of these so far. This Jesus like, Christ! No, I think this is our what fifth one, right? It's got to be our fifth. We've done one. a lot. Sixth. It's a lot more than five. Oh, well, not a lot more, but. Nah, so we didn't do that. Can man. we do the Northman? Could, have 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 you guys seen the Northman? Still got to see. I it. I have seen it. Yes. We sh- I will go watch it again with you guys. <laughs> I love that movie. Hey, we can make it time because well, I, I do want to see it. I, do. I think. Well, today is uh, it's it's Jonah's pick today, but that's that's at the end of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna talk. We can talk. We can go back. Uh, switch gears back to the Illuminati. Is the Illuminati? Is this their version of the Avengers? Or is it just a something after the Avengers? I, I think it's just their it? version of the Avengers. Okay, that's what I was thinking. It, it really didn't s- display something. There's only four of them here. The, the thing is, like, Five. with the... I like, I knew right out the bat that, like, as soon as, like, they were like, yeah, uh, Scarlet Witch, we're not worried about her. I'm like, you guys fucked up. <laughs> as soon as they said that shit, I'm like, you guys are dead. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> the, the, we're going to get to, the, like, hey, relax, like, he can destroy you with a whisper in his mouth. What mouth? Oh fuck! They, <laughs> he really uh, neoed, fucking that guy. He shut her, <laughs> shut him up real fast. Oh, I didn't realize he blew himself up with with his voice. Yeah, I, I didn't explain that to him. Yeah, no, I thought Wanda like crushed his skull or something mm-hmm. genetically. But okay, that makes more sense. You're saying that he couldn't rip his skin open, it had to blow his entire mind. I I love how like, I just love how she killed. Everybody, with ease. Um, I really like how she killed Mister Fantastic. Like he didn't yeah. even get to do anything. No, he was just there. He stretched and, his like, arms and then he was like, so "You're nope. spaghetti now." And also, your head is blown up. <laughs> like, it's just why can't she just do that to everybody? I don't understand. True, like you easily could have killed like, anybody. That yeah, night. no, she she did that shit to Mister Fantastic, and then she proceeded to get into a fist fight. With fucking Captain Britain, like yeah. what, that, that seems like poor writing. Stupid. Yeah, I think they're just trying to ex- expand this this fight scene as much. They as wanted her to just say something like, "Oi, I'm British." <laughs> 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 All right, great. Now I'm gonna cut you in half. Also, like I I mentioned this to to Matzik and Scholes when I walked out. Like, how the fuck is Captain Marvel dead after rubble falls on her? Rubble rubble falling on heroes is like par for the course. Like how how does that fucking kill you? Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. Also, Rubble killed her too. So is she dead? Is she though? dead? Is she now? dead? Is she though? dead though? Question mark. She she did that little poof. The poof at the very end. A big red poof. Wait, she did a poof. There was a she poof. Poof thing. I, I do remember ready? that. Jonah is good at noticing things we can't, like the, the rat red... tail, like the the raccoon tail. Oh. The raccoon tail. Raccoon tail. Raccoon tail. <laughs> you wouldn't understand though. So that, that's everything. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, red poof. Like the whole thing was coming down, and yeah, there's a red poof. Okay, I gotta. Then I guess I'm gonna have to re. You know what? 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 I'll spend fifteen dollars rewatch it. I guess. What? What is or just her? Pirated. What, what is the stat status of her contract with Marvel? I I think it was at, at that universe. Hopefully, unless they don't like Brie Larson anymore and just want to bring her in for diversity. Oh no, we're talking about Wanda right now. Oh, we're talking about Wanda. I think Wanda could come back. Hopefully, yeah. her kids don't. I'm telling you, your kids are so bad at acting. Yeah, they're oh very bad. God. Mom, I don't. I'm scared. They're Shut so up. bad, and they go We're behind. Gonna sing this stupid song. We, we <laughs> really need ice cream. Like oh I can't. Bl- I oh my god. I, my, when I, I was my kid, I'd throw him in the <laughs> fucking pit. Yeah. You could see my brain. That's how far back my eyes rolled. Oh my god. I was. Oh god. That just makes me want to. I, I didn't. Feeling, I couldn't love a kid like that. I don't know. I didn't like him in WandaVision. And I don't like them now. Like they're just little. In, uh, I'm annoyed that they even credited them in the yeah, movie. Yeah, at the end Fuck. with their faces. I fucking. 
<laughs> oh, Darn's back. What's up, hey. dude? <laughs> By the way, Darn was gone this whole time. <laughs> the <laughs> this yeah, that they're both those two twin uh, twins, kids, whatever the fuck. Yeah. It was a cringe fest the entire time, and I hate it. They were not twins. They were just both white. You racist. <laughs> <laughs> all white people look the same, let's be honest here. Right, the, 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 uh, I tell the guys at the shop all the time, there are a lot of you out there. there Whites? Are, yes. Yeah. There are, plenty of, there, are, there are too many of us, actually. We make it work. I just want you to know that I'm half Hispanic. Okay. I'd like to point out that I am 100% white. <laughs> I am Irish, Scottish, and German. I'm I'm just white. That's something a white person would say. I'm uh I'm 100% Aryan male. I'm what Hitler wanted. <laughs> uh, but through somehow I came to America in a mixing pot, and I just kept bre- like my parents just kept breeding with the same people. So <laughs> I don't I don't know what that says about my parents and their you know beliefs towards you know diversity and stuff, but. They obviously know that their genes are that strong. Yeah, they did. That's live why in I'm. That's why I'm like, you know, five eight and like <laughs> overweight and like balding. It's badass. <laughs> who are, Who are you talking about right now? Who Who are you describing? Because that's none of us, by the he's, way. He's just, He's describing himself. I was describing myself. Yeah. Are you Are you balding? Yeah. Look at that hairline. I have a good comb over, and uh, I also use Keeps, the sponsor of this podcast. <laughs> 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 give me money. <laughs> uh, please give us money. What? No, no. We're we're still talking about the movie. Well, we're kind of talking about the movie. You know, we we dance in and out. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Sorry to all my fans out there. I uh, I've been smoking meat all day. Um, and I had to tend to that. I want to smoke your meat later. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, I was, we we appreciate your meat smoking. I yeah, I, I was yeah. prepared for the Nicolas Cage movie. Just oh shit! Let me let me know. Oh, did you watch it? No. Uh, <laughs> 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 he just saw the trailer. He was ready to talk about it. <laughs> so it was really yeah. vibrant. I love the paint. Uh, it, it's it's alright. None, none of us watched it either. Uh, um, thank God. What what was what was that face? What was that face you just made with? Uh... Oh, uh, I I saw a bike coming. Yeah, it, it turned out to be my roommate, and it looked like he was heading straight for us. But oh. it <laughs> turns out he didn't hit us. Oh uh, yeah, that, that's yeah. good. That's, what if what yeah. if he just went? I'd be I'd be mad. Yeah, I I'd be upset. I'd be upset too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck you, Hill. <laughs> hey, do I have sweat on my abstract? No. Hey, yes. It looks good on you, though. Just, uh, I think every man, like, when they're doing some crazy things, just wear adult diapers. Honestly. Or it's, it's, women's depends. Just put in their underwear. Maybe you sh- everyone should just wear jean shorts. With, with, I with don't, I don't adult own, diapers. I don't own jeans. jeans. Imagine you go to another... Really? Yeah, really. Imagine you go to another music... Mm. music why, why does that surprise you? Um, It should. is a... Jean shorts are a high fashion thing for high people that are really, you know, high up in society. That's why. If you guys saw Darden, you'd say he's wearing a captain's hat, comically sized, a blue uh, polo with a white collar, and jean shorts, and uh, Reeboks. So obviously he's peak male performance. Did you did you mention the fanny pack? And the fanny pack. I do have a forget, fanny, pack. The fanny pack. It's the Rocket, what were these called? Rocket Pops. Rocket Pops from back in the day. Why, why do you wear them over your crotch? Huh? Why not? Well, sometimes, well, it was over here. It oh was yeah, to my you know side. what? Yeah, when you sit down, there. That's, sits, that's where the space is. Just... Yeah, yeah. Uh. Right. <laughs> you look like you're going to downtown Disney with your three kids, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to downtown Disney to pick up some moms. That's. I... Target. You should have went to Target. <laughs> Yo, Target. If I get out of work early, I'm going to Target, and I'm the. Mo- that's where all the moms are. The moms that don't work, where their husbands. Just our lawyers or something. What about Walmart? Who, who goes? To no, Walmart? no. Yeah. Walmart is for white trash. Yeah, it's yeah. very as, well known. As a white man, um, I don't associate with Walmart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, what do you think? What do you think of Walmart or the movie? Whichever you want to, whichever way you want to, <laughs> whichever way you want to bring it back into the fold, I uh, will riff along with it. You know. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> that's good. Which that's one? Good. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought, too. I, like yeah, I, I agree. Thanks, Jonah, for the input. <laughs> um, We were talking about the Illuminati guys in the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Illuminati yeah. guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was actually very upset. I hated those guys. I was super did you, upset. Did you like it when they died? That was my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was actually everyone's favorite part because it was like, yeah. it, for the entire time, I'm like, oh, when when she killed Mr. Fantastic that quickly, I was like, oh, fuck. And when when you really thought that there was going to be something with Dr., uh, Professor X, I really thought yeah. there's something going to happen yeah, like no, through, as a turn. No, no, no it's just going to snap his nothing to happen. Probably the most powerful person in the universe in comics is actually Professor X. Again, there's a uh, their comics Worldbreaker Hulk. You ever I don't know if you read those ones. Nah, ones nah. Uh where Worldbreaker Hulk became the most powerful thing in the universe and the only person who could stop him was uh was actually no, it was actually Wolverine who had to stop him in the in the comics I'm pretty sure. But still like uh Do- Professor X was like a, a big help for that one. I don't want to get into specifics but like I thought they were going to just utilize Dot Professor X being, you know, a big deal for the turnout of this movie, but no. Yeah. You no, know, he's he's dead as fuck. Nothing. Did you guys watch The Power of the Dog? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys talk about it? No, no we didn't. Uh, can we just say about how good Benedict Cumberbatch was playing a gay cowboy in that movie? Yeah. I'd agree. It's not his first time playing a gay guy, though. Uh, Yeah, I, he did... um uh, Imitation Game. Imitation Game, yeah. Um... No, yeah, he he. Uh, but again, it wasn't really about. He it. was so good yeah, in Power of the Dog, and he was so boring in Doctor Strange. Well, I kind of think the Power of the Dog was also kind of a very slow movie, but well, it's, I. It's a western. I mean, they usually will be that way. Yeah, western but it, there was that. at least there's like a little bit of action. This one was just like gay tension with a young skinny man, and. <laughs> That's awesome. uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, Down syndrome, Matt Damon, whatever <laughs> Jesse Plemons. Whatever. Oh yeah, my God. whatever, whatever his. Why? Why does that make so much sense? I don't know. My sister always says that. That's that's actually true. But also, funny thing is, he's just he's plowing out. Uh, uh what's her name? Kirsten Mar- Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. So. Kirsten Kirsten Dunst married was real really good. They're not remarried. They're married. They, they are did. together. Oh wait, really? Are they together? I don't. They are together, not married. I didn't even know that they had children. Yeah, there's there's a child between them. They boinked. They boinked. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, he really he almost got he almost got an Oscar. He almost got an Oscar. That's all I'm gonna say. Jesse Plemons is Oscar nominated. I think he he is Oscar worthy. Yes, worthy. I think so too. For what? For for this one thing. I think he was Oscar worthy for um. Uh, I'm thinking of ending things. Have you guys seen that? Oh yeah. Uh, that's uh, what's his name? Uh, Kaufman. Uh, yes, Charlie Kaufman. Charlie Kaufman. Yeah, I, I highly recommend. Um, it's good. It's a downer. It's a, it's a, that's every J- Charlie Kaufman movie though. That that's also true. <laughs> yeah, I watched it with my dad, and he was like, "I think he's a serial killer," and that's the, the whole thing. I'm like, "Dad, that's is this is Charlie Kaufman? There's no way this is what he's trying to tell you." Every movie is about a dude who probably seems like he's gonna kill himself, and things don't work out for him. Yeah, but this one was like, like it, it was really cool. I really like the movie. I like the two uh, the people that played his parents. Oh yeah. And also like that uh, that Irish woman. Mm. I don't remember her uh, name. Uh, I think it's Jessie Buckley. Yeah, yeah oh. that's who it was. Yeah, she's really good. She's uh she's gonna start a new A twenty four movie with uh fuck I don't remember. I keep seeing trailers for it. Can we talk about how? A twenty four has been unleashing havoc in movie theater, movie theaters everywhere all year long. There's been like five or six really good ones so far. Yeah, they've they've had. Some, is uh is Northman A twenty four? No, I think it's, it's not. Focus. <clears throat> I think I think it's A twenty four's parent company because I know Robert Edgar's other movies are A twenty four. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's their parent company, and they're like, oh, we actually sunk a lot of fucking money into this, so we should. Say it's actually us. Okay then. All in all, A twenty four go hard. Is, uh, is the Nick, new Nick Cage movie? No, it's not. It's not the new Nick Cage movie. The unbearable weight of massive talent is not A twenty four. 
What? What? Bruh. Bruh. Um. What? 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 What else should we talk about with this movie? Uh, do you want any? Do you have anything else you want? No, I'm honestly I'm pretty done. Yeah, I'm done with it. I like the scene when they're running from her in the tunnel underneath the river. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of. I think that was the most horror elementy. I wonder of the whole. There's a lot of tension, and I I think Sam Raimi is good at tension. Why does? Why do you think that slowed her down a lot somehow? Oh, the water dropping the. Oh, okay. How did that slow down a good three I minutes? I don't know. Come on. This, yeah, and she killed this... Mr. Fantastic in like two seconds. You think she couldn't like be like, water, no, no water. Yeah, I know, she should. <laughs> water, no. She was using she was using reflections to get into a room. I know. That and seems like really con- it's, convoluted it's, way to get just, why well, can't just. This movie is super phoned in. But to be honest, I don't, I don't blame Sam Raimi at all. Well, he's a... a I blame him. <laughs> He's the director. He's the guy. He, he is in. He is. The I know man we've talked. I know we talked about this, but I'm for him all the way. I mean, Since it's I it's five. it's. I think it's fine to root for a director. Um, I, but I I do think like you know, you can't just because you can't give credit to the good shit he does and then let slide the bad shit he does like. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yes, I know what you're saying. I mean, that's the same thing with like Nicolas Cage. You could say, well, yeah. I, like everyone, everyone believes. Like I, for a long time there, for like, I'd say like the late 2000s to like 2018, people were like, oh, he's like hands down worst actor working right. Well, now. they're all wrong. So well, they, they, they are wrong. About but but for a long time, a lot of people definitely thought that about Nick Cage. Only because he hasn't done anything really mainstream in mainstream in a very long time. I think that's different because Nick Cage is an actor; he's not a director. True. He's would, not. He's never the man in charge. in In every fucking evolution, he is not the man in charge. He's, just, he's doing what he's told. Yes. In his own so, way. So, like, you can't say he, like, that's not the same. That's not the same comparison. Nick Cage is like, uh, you're doing maintenance. He he has the MRC, but he's really yes. doing his own steps. Yeah. He's, so, he's working with the procedure, yeah. but in different ways that are his if own. If every work center soup he's assigned with tells him to do the wrong thing and he does it, is that really his fault? No. I like all the Navy references. Yes, these are all military references. Uh, More. I guess you could say it like that, but I say I, just everyone... I can't even really think of anything that Sam Raimi's done other than Spider-Man and Evil Dead in this. Drag Me to Hell? Oh, yeah. That what is drag me to drag me to hell is a Justin Long wasn't he wasn't his movie but he's in it that's all oh, Justin Long that's the guy from Dodgeball and Tusk okay and Jeepers Creepers two uh did he do the Evil Dead TV series no no, no. I don't know I don't know I actually didn't pay attention to who I directed think, them though. I think he might have directed like the first episode uh I. Th- did he direct the new Evil Dead that came out like the same uh, time? I don't think so. It came out the same one. That came out in 2015, 2014. Yeah, but the, there was a reference to like the Bruce Campbell TV show. Was it? At the very end of it. So That movie that movie is just too gory for its own good though, to be honest. I, I've never seen the Evil Dead remake. It really it literally rained who's, blood. Who's in the movie. who's who's the chicken that? Isn't isn't that I don't remember that, actually. Never mind, forget it. I haven't seen it. Um, you're, not, you're not really missing out. But no, uh, back to what we were originally talking about. Like, like Sam Raimi, this is his movie, and I, I think the fact that what Jonah said earlier about the the rewrites, because this originally was not his movie. This was originally whoever the fuck directed the first Doctor Strange. This was that guy's project. And that guy, he quit like midway through for whatever fucking reason. And then Sam Raimi took over, and then he injected his Sam Raiminess into it. But then, like production, like got halted because of COVID, and like, and I think that's part of the reason why, like Jonah said, the first half of this movie is super everywhere. It's just wonky. It's all over the place. Yeah. Um. And uh, but like 
there there's still like Sam Raimi like elements to it. Obviously, the fucking zombie strange that that's very the just the way that that was shot. Um, just the fact that it's a thing in this movie. Uh, the the fight scene between uh strange and like and like uh thir- three eye strange with the musical notes and shit like maybe that didn't work for me i thought that was dumb i, I thought think, it- i think that was to showcase danny elfman <laughs> like, i think that was yeah. just to showcase danny, danny elfman? elfman i'm like come Fuck on danny they, got, elfman. they got oingo boingo in this thing come on did you know danny elfman he wrote the song that the kids sing as well Oh, uh, uh, did he? He did. He's... That's not surprising because fuck Danny El- <laughs> <Yeah>. Elfman. <laughs> I don't like any. I don't like it when he's the accompanying. Oh, you, you know what? You know what I? I recently <laughs> just just saw and it blew my mind. It actually kind of hurt me. Was how the Nightmare Before Christmas. Everybody like likes to give um, Tim Burton because Tim Burton's a Nightmare Before Christmas, but he never directed it. I don't know who I forgot. Who, who directed? Not him. Really? Yeah. That, is that, he a producer? I think he, I think it is, it is his though. He had full control over it. Yeah, but he it says I'm pretty sure it says Tim Burton's. Not even record, but, but he Christmas. didn't direct. He did not direct it. He might have wrote. Did he write it? Uh, he might have. But the thing is, like everyone like accredits him, but like this is one of the movies where they don't. Get, the actual director doesn't get really any like, you know, thing. It might be it might be all his idea possibly in writing. But it is his movie, sure, but he didn't direct it. I always thought it was him who directed it. Now we're talking. I only say that because um, we're talking about um, Danny Elfman. He Henry mur- Selleck. Yeah. Henry Selleck directed it. Yeah, who is that? Is it Tom Selleck's brother? He did or? James and the Giant Peach, Coraline, uh, fucking uh, Wendell and Wild, which is a 2022 film that hasn't come out yet. But okay. So he's done a lot of claymation stuff. Yeah, so a movie you think it's hey it's Tim Burton he gets all the credit. I only say that because we're talking about Danny Elfman because he he wrote the entire score and the songs for the movie. I, I watched a, a documentary on it. Anyway, where, where where are we going with this now? Are we should we start doing our our uh, reviews on it now? The wrap up. The wrap up. Wrap up. <laughs> all right. So we wrap it all up. I, Scholes speaking here. I. Give it a solid six out of ten. I don't think it deserves any more than that. Uh, I can see why some people would give it less, but I don't think it was too bad. Yeah. I when I was sitting through it, I wasn't like, you know what? I should get up and just leave this fucking theater. <laughs> so that is uh, good enough in its own, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. I'm gonna go six out of ten as well. Um, I think if you had asked me right after I walked out of the theater, I would have said five out of ten, or maybe even four out of ten. Um, but I, I've sat on it. I, I've thought about it. Um, I watched some videos about it, like see what other people were saying, uh, what other people's interpretations were, um, and uh, some aspects of the movie do work. Uh, I really like how Wanda fucking kills people it's like probably my favorite part of the movie just her killing people and being a scary witch lady uh that was executed perfectly now i think that decision to go in that direction with her character is completely stupid and uh it undoes everything from wandavision um aside from that i thought a lot of the dialogue was cheesy i thought the movie was messy and it only really like comes together like after forty an hour an hour in, um, so for that reason, six out of ten for me. Uh, yeah, so both of you guys are right on the nose when it comes to things. I'm just gonna go ahead and say six out of ten. Uh, like we said before, the movie it felt phoned in, and you know, not for good reason. Obviously, they have their reasons, but I think they could have done more with it, especially with there were some really big. Like, for the past five months since the uh, Spider-Man came out as the last, uh, I think that was the last MCU movie recently, with Spider-Man uh, 3. Not Spider-Man 3, but No Way Home. No Way Home, yeah. Yeah. And it brought up, like, hey, I'm ready for this movie. I need this movie to happen now, right? 
That's how I felt. I'm like, I was excited for it. I was hyped for this movie. I was hyped for that it. That was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I was hyped for this movie because I thought they were going to follow this. I, I forgot how much I didn't like the first Doctor Strange. Yeah. And like, I somehow like had it, in my mind that this it, one would be great. It's still not my least favorite. Captain Marvel is still my least favorite, by the way. Me and Nim were talking about this after the movie, too, is you kind of forget that Doctor Strange, he's in so many other Marvel movies, but his I think he does best when he's just a supporting role. It's kind of hard to like yeah. see him as like the main character in something. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, M was M was bringing that up to me. Yeah, so when you say, "Hey, Wanda," you know they they went a complete a, a, a weird direction with her, but understandable. She, there, I feel now. I don't think there's any way there can be any redemption arc for her. They don't. I don't think they would have any time to have her redeeming herself. Is there a WandaVision season two? I don't. I don't know I don't if these. So. I don't think these shows that are having will ever have a season two. So maybe except Loki. For, except for Loki and maybe uh, Moon Knight. Uh, I have heard that Captain America and Winter Soldier are getting a second season. I know. I know they're already in starting filming for the Captain a new Captain America movie. They have already started filming that with Anthony yeah. Mackie uh, for a movie. I know that for a fact, but I don't know about a season two yet. But I feel obviously there's there's room for that. They need to. There's a lot of things to explain there. But we have to get to Jonah. Mine's a six. Yours a six. Yours a six. Jonah. Act one, bad. Act two, good. Act three, meh. Like didn't really do much for me. Um. His relationship with, uh, uh, what's her face? Uh, Christine. Glad that's over. Um, now he can move on to the mystery chick at the end of the first, like, post credit scene. Charlie's Theron. Char- Charlie's yeah, Theron. Charlie's Theron. Which, uh, you know, she's a baddie. Good for him, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. We touch everything else. It's a six. Overall six. Nice. Sixes everywhere. Can I just say, the relationship between Doctor Strange and Christine, it is the most boring, like, no chemistry, like, what the fuck are, is going on there? To be honest, I didn't need any closure at all. Benedict. They could have just said she, she died, and uh, all they had to do was say she died during the blip and never came back, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> that would have answered everything. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch is only good when he's playing, he only has good sexual tension when he's playing a gay guy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so um unless anybody else has something else to say, I guess that's going to wrap up for Burnflick. Yeah, uh Darty Darty's uh he's tending to the to the meats. Yeah, he's so he's smoking he is, the he meat hardcore. Um but I'm sure he shares the same sentiment. Uh for our next time though, I I think uh I think I think Jonah Jonah has our next pick. I think we're going to try to do unbearable weight of massive talent again. We're going to try to make it work. God, I hope we can find. How, it how are we gonna? Make, well, it's there's no way nowhere to see it. It's it's not playing anymore. It just came out. I know. Is it? Where is it playing? It's not playing at Regal's. It's, it's not, not playing, playing at Mystic. Not, it, yesterday was the last time they're uh, showing at Regal, here at least. Is it on HBO? Did, is it like one of those? I don't know. If it, I don't. I don't know if it's Warner Brothers. Where it's like just in a little bit. It's like in the theaters for a little bit, and then they just put it on HBO. If we can find this movie, I. Like again, I've been wanting to see this since I first saw its trailer on on Instagram. I've been needing to see this movie. And that's what I want to do if we can do this. Here's the thing. I I don't come back till the 17th. So, is this movie still going to be around May 17th after May 17th? Are you going to leave again? About about I'm we getting LASIK, dude. Oh, right. Go. How about we take a rain check and we'll figure it out. Sounds good. He said sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Science. Right. See you guys soon.